Hey everybody, welcome back to Smooth Lux. We all at some point have seen those movies where they had to carry out a major heist by stealing world-renowned and expensive paintings, and you wondered, are paintings that expensive? Well, yes, they are. Are you a lover of paintings or arts? Have you ever wondered how much the most expensive painting in the world costs? There are many paintings with prices that exceed $1 million. But there are also extremely expensive paintings with prices starting at $100 million for a single piece. It is impossible to truly appreciate these masterpieces of world painting because practically all of the authors of the most extremely expensive paintings ever sold have died and will never be able to make something like this again. As a result, the value of these artworks continues to rise over time. As a result, we present to you the collection of the top 10 most expensive paintings in the world ever made. If you want to know all about these paintings that will be mentioned or listed in this video, make sure your eyes are still gazed upon this video. If you are a first timer, do well to subscribe, like and turn on your notifications post. Number 10. Number 5, 1948 Jackson Pollock, $140 million. In 2006, David Greffin sold the number 5, 1948 drip picture to David Martinez for $140 million. A sculpture created on 8 by 5 feet of fiberboard embodies Pollock's unique dripping technique, which he used as one of the finest abstract expressionist painters. A typical Pollock piece not easily accessible to the general public, yet pivotal to the evolution of modern art. Pollock was dubbed Jack the Dripper because of his peculiar painting technique, which involved dripping paint from sticks, syringes and hard brushes after setting the canvas on the floor. Number 9. Masterpiece Roy Lichtenstein, $165 million Roy Lichtenstein is one of the creators of pop art culture, which deflated the macomistic image of American art in favor of something more realistic and relevant. His most famous work, the masterpiece 1962, incorporates traditional pop art motives such as band aid dots and speech balloons in a comic strip narrative. The artwork was included in Lichtenstein's debut exhibition at the Ferris Gallery in Los Angeles, which also included the drowning girl and the portrait of Madame Cezanne. Some critics have regarded the masterpiece as just another glossed up and gorgeous picture, while others believe the painting has a deeper message. And that is what we will investigate here. The masterwork depicts a man, perhaps the artist, and a blonde woman looking at a canvas, the content of which is hidden from the observer. A speech bubble erupts from her mouth, praising the masterpiece in question, ever referring to it as something that would get all of the New York excited. Number 8. New Couch Emidio Modigliani $170.4 million New Couch is a 1970 oil canvas work by Emidio Modigliani. The new Couch, widely regarded as the painter's crowning masterpiece, is a flawless blend of classical idealism. Though influenced by Italian Renaissance images of Venice and other feminine figures, the painting has a contemporary spin. Number 7. Les Femmes d'Elger, version O. Picasso, $179.4 million. The master's Les Femmes d'Elger, version O, sold for $179.4 million in 2015, breaking the world record for the most expensive painting ever sold at auction. This painting is the climax of Picasso's 15-work series on women of Algiers, which was inspired by the 19th-century Spanish artist Eugene Delacroix. This piece excellently exemplifies Picasso's proclivity to create work in vintage style while keeping completely contemporary in approach and presentation. This piece, which is equal parts kits, postmodern and classic, is regarded as the most important Picasso in the hands of a private owner today. Picasso produced this beautiful canvas with dazzling colors in 1955 as the last work in the series of 15 versions. This series was intended to be an elegy to Picasso's friend and opponent, Matisse, who died in 1954. This is a true milestone in Picasso's repertory, with its play on cubism and bringing together all of Picasso's lifelong obsessions. It has been in numerous Picasso retrospectives around the world. Number 6. Number 6 Violet, Green and Red, Mark Rotko, $186 million. Mark Rothko was an abstract expressionism pioneer who was born in Russia. Rothko's style is distinguished by enormous canvases and horizontal bands of vivid colors. Violet, green, red is labeled ambiguously to allow viewers to form their own opinions. Rothko used a sparse palette with the darkest tones at the top to represent the depression that tormented him. Rothko's hallmark approach of communicating an intimate message without the use of subjects is exemplified by the use of vibrant colors in a basic pattern. 2014 Russian tycoon Dmitry Rybolovlev paid $186 million for this sculpture from Swiss art dealer Yves Bouir. While the acquisition has since become mired in legal wranglings, this piece of art remains one of the most costly in the world. Number 5. 
Number 17, a 1948 Jackson Pollock, $200 million. Abstract Expressionism is a post-World War II art trend that stresses subconscious and spontaneous creation. Jackson Pollock's paintings belong to the school of painting, and his gripping paint method was inspired by the work of Andrew Mason and Max Ernst, among others. This abstract work was completed in 1948 and was published in the 1947 Life magazine story that made the painting famous. Number 17, a created on fiberboard canvas with only oil paints, appears to be a jumbled phantasm of shapes and hues. A closer study, however, reveals multiple layers of the picture that the observer missed at the first glance. Number 17A is a rather formal lane that lacks creativity and originality. Pollock purposefully avoids describing his artwork as something sophisticated, which merely draws attention away from the painting's distinctive nature. When you look closely at the random patterns, they don't appear to be so hazy. In actuality, the structure of the oil drubbing painting reveals Pollock's exact movement and artistic control. Number 4. Nefia FAA Apoyipo When Will You Marry? Paul Gauguin, $210 million. The most expensive painting in the world is currently Paul Gauguin's 1892 picture. In February 2015, the Qatar Museum purchased his artwork of two Tahachian girls from a private Swiss collector, Rodolf Stachlin, for an incredible $300 million. It displays two ladies against a natural setting, one dressed in traditional Polynesian garb and the other in colonial-style missionary garb, symbolizing the merging of Polynesian and European traditions. Gaugen painted this picture around the age of 43 after traveling to Tahiti to escape all that was conventional and artificial in Europe. This picture had been on loan to the Basel Art Museum for over 60 years before the Wender removed it from the display and sold it. Although it appears mediocre, this artwork demonstrates the genuineness of an entrenched culture in a bygone era. Number 3. The Card Player, Paul Cezanne, $250 million Before the sale of When Will You Marry in 2015, this painting held the record of the most expensive in the world. In 2011, the country royal family purchased the card players from Greek chicken billionaire George Ambericos for a stunning $274 million. This is one of those classic photographs that you will undoubtedly know. For many years, this photograph has appeared in coffee table books, luxury like goods, publications, and art history curricula. It is one of five paintings by Cezanne that was made in the early and mid-1990s as part of his Prost Impressionist series. This classic photograph depicts two stone-faced guys playing cards at a little wooden table. Painting style and pastel user classic Cezanne, with the subtle expressions on the player's faces beautifully communicating to players deeply absorbed in the game. A bottle of drink on the table complements the stunning yet subtle workmanship. It is worth noting that the two models for the painting were Cezanne's gardener and a farmhand from his family estate. Number 2. Interchange William de Kooning $300 million Interchange or Interchanged is an oil and canvas painting by the Dutch-American abstract expressionism painter William de Kooning. The painting was the first of de Kooning's abstract landscapes painted in 1955 and was influenced by the aesthetic style of Franz Klein. Kooning spent the majority of his career exploring and recreating abstract feminine figures. Only later did he abandon painting human figures in favor of recreating abstract images of his environment in downtown New York. The interchange took place at a period when both the artist's private life and the art community as a whole were undergoing gradual but tremendous transformation. D. Kooning was financially secure and could make new professional and personal decisions. As a result, he transitions from his spontaneous wild paintings to more steady, serious, and tamed landscape pieces. Now for number one, we have Salvatore Mundi attributed to Leonardo da Vinci, $450.3 million. Leonardo da Vinci is said to have painted Salvatore Mundi, or savior of the world, many critics believe otherwise. The painting depicts Jesus Christ clothed in Renaissance attire, offering benediction with his right hand outstretched with two fingers crossed and a crystal ball in his left hand. The glass globe in his palm represents the crystalline spheres of the heavens. Leonardo was a Roman Catholic, yet his crystal sphere deviates from the typical representations of brass golden globes with cruxifixes. Some believe there was a deliberate attempt on his part to connect the physical and spiritual worlds. Art lovers allege that there are 20 different versions of the picture, with the original painting lost. Many top experts have restored and rediscovered one such copy as the authentic work of Leonardo da Vinci. And that concludes the video. Which of these arts or paintings mentioned would you love to be hanging on your wall? You can drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Do well to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications post. Thanks for sticking around. Till next time, bye.